Now, Monday was a terribly sad day for many Koreans as two Korean victims of the Japanese military's wartime sexual slavery passed away on the same day. According to a civic group that advocates for the victims, 93-year-old Kim Bok-dong died late Monday night. Another 93-year-old woman, known to the media only by her surname E, died Monday morning after suffering from poor health. There are now just 23 South Korean victims still alive. Seoul and Tokyo agreed in 2015 to set up a foundation to help the victims, but the two sides are now working to disband it because the 2015 deal did not reflect the victims' wishes.